How we doing everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with a super quick video on a function that you need to know. All right, this function's amazing. And it's called the separate function. And it's a part of the tidy R uh, package, which is just part of the tidyverse. So honestly, I just load tidyverse every time um, because tidyverse is the bomb and it comes with so many things. All right, so the data that we're gonna use, I'll leave a link in the description. You can follow it here and you're gonna to need to get table uh, as CSV, and then we'll just take all this stuff, all right? And there we go. And then just copy it into a CSV file, and then you can upload it in R. All right, so now we're gonna read the CSV. Um, I, I just put it in my documents, so it's in my path. So I can just do uh, ball, and so into this we can do a read, underscore CSV and then I saved it as bball.csv I think it was all right good stuff so if we uh, read this ball uh, data frame uh, it, it shows all the stuff but it kind of cuts off player here so let's let's actually just look at player uh, player and so we can see here what actually happened is uh, they included this code. So this is like the player code that they use for the site. So we, we don't want that, right? Maybe, maybe we do, actually. Maybe we want it, um, but we don't want it as part of the, the name, right? So we might want it separate and we might want the name separate, but we don't want them together, right? And so that's where the separate function comes in. Uh, so what this does is we take our data frame, ball. All right, so what we're gonna do here for the separate function is we're gonna say, uh, we're going to take ball and we're going to pipe it into a separate. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give it the column, which is player. And then we want to put it into, so we'll just we'll spell these out here. We want to put it into uh, two different columns, right? So the first column is going to be player and the second column is going to be code, right? So we're going to take uh, the player and the code. Uh, let's just look at this one more time. Right, so we're gonna take the player in the first variable, the code in the second variable, and they're separated by double backslashes, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a separate equals, and then this is gonna to have to be a regular expression. Um, so we can't just put two backslashes, right? This is not gonna work. We can show here. Um, let's select uh, player and code, All right? It's a bad, a bad uh, escape, it's not gonna work. So for regular expressions, you have to add two backslashes in R. In other languages, it's one backslash or something else. But we need two backslashes, right? We're gonna escape it out. And then we need to put uh, the two backslashes, right? So we're doing two backslashes to escape it. And then two more to say, that's what we're gonna split on. Or that's what we're gonna separate on, right? And then we'll select those two variables. And there it is. Uh, cl clean as can be, uh, we have the player over here and the code over here. Um, something else that you might wanna do, right? Is say this isn't enough. Say we wanna break up first name and last name. Um, so if we wanna do that, we'll do another separate. And we're gonna separate player again. Um, but this time we're gonna put it into first name and last name, right? So we'll do into first name We don't do capitals here, okay? We don't do spaces. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be real coders, all right? So we put it in the first name and last name. Um, but, and this isn't quite gonna work, and you'll see why here in a second. Um, but for a separator, we're, we're just gonna put a space, right? So a quote, a space in between. So what this is gonna do is anywhere it finds a, a space, it's gonna split it into a new variable. And so why might that not work? Well, you could have two spaces. And so what's gonna happen then? Well, we'll take a look. All right, so it did pretty well. It gives us a warning here on the bottom and it says additional pieces are discarded in 15 of the rows. And so what happened with our uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. is now it's just Tim Hardaway and the junior got, got tossed. All right, so let's fix that really quick. All right, so what we're gonna do is we just have to add another variable. So we'll say uh, last name one. All right, so now it says uh, it expected three pieces, uh, but it filled in NA where it didn't, right? So any names where there's not, 
uh, three names, it just filled it with an NA, and that's perfectly fine. All right, so then the last thing is we can combine uh, the two last names into one. And so what we're gonna do here is we're going to mutate, and we'll say last name is equal to paste. And we're gonna paste the last name and the last name one. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna go down and do harden and NA, and we'll see if this even works, I don't even know. Uh, healed and NA. <laughs> Um, but really, we want it for Hardaway Jr., right? And to put that in the last name. So it looks like it left the NA in there. So we can do one last thing. There's probably a cleaner way to do this, but I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants, showing you the good good here. Uh, but let's mutate last name is equal to, um, and we'll do a G sub. And this one is. Uh, you give it the pattern and then, uh, whoa, that's, let's see, pattern and then the replacement and then the X. All right, so the pattern is if we see a space and a, I don't know if there's a space at the end, probably not, that looks too small, right? So if there's a space and a, we want to fill that with nothing and we'll do that for the uh, ball dollar last name. All right, so this should clean it up to the last point, which it did not. So let's save it again. Let's get rid of that. Oops, I don't know what I did. What a video we got going on here, huh? Last name, last name. Let's copy this. Uh, let's save this into ball. All right, so this is our new, our new thing now. Is it looks like that. And so now it should be able to find it. All right, so we'll do ball. And then that stuff that we copied. All right, and there we are. Let's drop that last name one because we don't need it. Select minus last name one. And we get first name, last name, and code. Uh, there it is. So uh, if you found this video helpful, make sure to press like. Uh, subscribe if you want more of the best, uh, just beautiful art content that there is on YouTube. And I appreciate your time. Have a good day.